All right, everyone, welcome back to some more tribute. Today we are going up against Pink Foxit. And we get first pick. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling Rajin, I'm not going to lie. Not really sure why. But we are. Let's see what Pink picks up here. Sorcerer King. So it looks like we're going to have the Sorcerer King mini game and the Onsai mini game in the same game. What do we need for this? We need power to be able to turn that. We're going to get power there. I really think the best thing that we could do would be bring it more power. Not a lot of power on the board other than Onsai. I think Red Eagle for the draw support and the power without having to build our deck up too much. It'll also bait them into maybe wanting to shred their deck, which will make their turns not as powerful. Okay, so we can either go Warrior Wave here or we can go Midnight Raid. Now, Midnight Raid is probably the stronger card, but in the early game, I actually think Warrior Wave is going to be better for us because we can choose if we want power or if we want gold. So I think that that's where I'm going to go with this. We will see how this turns out. Pink is going to get an extra gold this turn. Doesn't look like they're going to get enough power to turn on side, which is also good. The only way for us to turn on size is if we buy power, get power from one of our cards, or if we hit both of our base cards from green and red eagle here. So I don't know if that will be turned anytime soon, which I am kind of a okay with. Hmm. The freebooter is like one of the best cards if we can get some more blue cards into our deck. Sleight of, sleight of hand could give us more gold early on. We could just sleight of hand and click this. Huh. I'd rather have the free booter, I think. Keyword there is, I think. I think making that tribute video was pretty helpful for myself to be honest because I had a lot of ideas in my head about tribute and sometimes it's just hard to get them all out and digestible for people to enjoy making videos like that is very difficult man it was a very difficult game or um thing to do Spent many days just writing down pros, cons. I'd like go to sleep and I'd be like, oh, this deck is good with that. And then I'd go back to my notes and write. I had a, like a six page document for that that I had to record. It was quite a lot of work. But I have seen some of you guys commenting saying that you are using a lot of the strategies that you picked up there and are seeing great success with it. And to be honest with you, that makes me very happy to know that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, exactly what I talked about in my video happening here. We have the Sorcerer King mini game happening once again, as it always does. Four gold, is that going to do anything? We should buy that for two gold, just so they can't knock us out. Buy that. Go up to ten. Bad time for this board to be so expensive, too. Such a... An opposite of what we really want here. There we go. Start creating some cards here. Now, the real question is... Do we want to turn on sign now? In the... My consensus here is kind of, yeah, I do. I don't want to rag pick. Because we're going to try to build into Sorcerer King Patron. 
I just think that getting on site now forces them to make some choices later, which is totally fine. That actually makes this weaker for them. So that's actually good for us that they did that. We're just going to start creating more Somerset sacking cards. Let's get rid of the expensive one here. And we've got six. Hmm. Man, I kind of want to buy a card. I also just kind of want to turn teal patron. Let's see if we get lucky. Nah, we won't. It's okay. I think the best card here for us right now could take this and get more power. This could refresh us, but this creates a taunt wall. I think in the long run, that's going to work. I probably could have been more aggressive there, but I made a longevity play as we are both kind of just staggering back and forth up the prestige ladder here. Gonna get four, five, something gold next turn. They might have enough to knock us both out here. Especially if they click sorcerer. See now they want to now they want to turn on side because they know that it's dangerous if they don't. And that is a okay. Let's go ahead and just get rid of one of these. Let's go ahead and turn this back. Let's go ahead and draw a card here. Let's go ahead and buy this. Let's just get all gold. Oh, you can just buy that and knock us out now, huh? Oh, well. <clears throat> that kind of stinks, but it is what it is. It will take three gold of theirs, though, if they want to do it. Looks like they're going to. And that was a nice card for them, but they might not have enough to turn anything over. They're going to turn on side, probably. They're going to draw a card. That doesn't really do much. It was kind of a waste of a card. Weird little game here. If you guys have watched my video now, you see why I think these little mini game decks are silly sometimes. Like the mini game with the patrons. It's just, they kind of like pull you away from the actual game, which I don't really find to be an enjoyable type of gameplay. But what do I know? Just a guy who's bad at tribute. All right. Um, I mean, I could just do that. Get rid of them. We're creating Somerset sacking cards, so let's just stay up. Coming in handy there already. And go ahead and buy a Somerset sacking, that's fine. So we'll do this, this, this. And we will also just turn that. And we're just going to go up on power. Nearing the end here, the best thing I think we could do would just be stay ahead. Because we both just have like these decks that are creating small amounts of power. The only thing I'm really too concerned with them are the midnight raids. And if they get one here now, that's fine. It's a little late in the game for them to get one. So really not too, too concerned with it at this moment. They're making this hit smaller every time they shred a card. <clears throat> a card, excuse me. Had a hiccup there. Well. I think the best thing we could do here is just buy that ourselves because the power will help us and it'll prevent them from buying it and getting any sort of 
combos that we don't like. They're going to go ahead and click that. But see, I mean, they're only getting two now because they keep wasting it. Go ahead and shred a card. They're, you're not making yourself better here. I know you think you are. But I promise you, friend, you are not. Um, I'm actually going to let him keep it because I want them to shred. I want them to think that that's a decent strategy one power is not gonna make or break me although i should have gotten rid of it because they just combo with midnight raid i wasn't thinking about that even with the midnight raid combo i'm still not really too concerned with it we are probably going to replace up to one card let's just that's a pretty good card. We'll get rid of that. Might want some of the other ones yet. Not quite sure how we're going to play this. Let's go ahead and get a fifth gold. 41. Um, if I buy this, you get prestige power. Got this. I think we'll just do that. We'll just do that and wipe the board. We also have patron pressure now, so if they don't click a patron here, we can beat them next turn. And this might be game. They need to buy blackmail here. They can buy blackmail and the patron and maybe tie. They might have gotten rid of so many cards that their sorcerer king patron is not giving them a lot of value anymore. So that's going to be short one. They've got just enough to click. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Hanging on by your thread. Let's get rid of the card that's going to knock us out. Boom. 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 Seven gold. Best thing we could do would be that. I should probably be clicking this at the end. Um, and just filling my deck up with cards, but we'll take a refresh card. That'd be right. They need to score eight here. Which they definitely could if that combos. My goodness. 49. They're going to have enough to do something here. 51. We are just crawling back and forth now, though. Our next hands are going to be pretty decent. Um, replace up to one card. Let's get rid of that, because that thing's a beast. Hmm. I mean, we could just go up on way more power here. Yeah, screw it. We'll click it once. Look at that. 64 to 51. Next hand is going to be great as well. They're going to get some gold here, but I don't see that really helping them much. They need to get 14 power in one turn. And I think that is going to be game. All right, pink. GG, good game. Kind of a long one there, wasn't it? Yeah, 13 minutes. So just a great understanding of the patrons, knowing the pressure that they apply to us, knowing that Sorcerer King is going to get played pretty much the whole game. Seems like Sorcerer King becomes priority even when Ansai is in the mix, which is an interesting take from that game. So let's keep in mind that people are tending to go that route when both of them are in play. But yeah, I mean, just a good observation of the board, staying on top of each other's decks, and knowing when to go ahead, I think was the key for me there. That moment when I said, all right, let's just start applying pressure because we both have decks that are kind of crawling up in power. We weren't really making big advancements until I left a black card on the board for them and they were able to combo it with their Midnight Raid. So just keep in mind that keeping eyes on the cards your opponents are buying, understanding the patrons, will really eliminate a lot of stage fright and fear when playing card games. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.